The picturesque and peaceful landscape of Neshoba Valley Winery in winter may suggest that all is quiet and dormant. Step inside and you'll find just the opposite is taking place. We'll be filtering our strawberry rhubarb wine, which will be bottled next week. We're also doing a lot of barrel room work right now. Justin Pelletier is chief operating officer of this Bolton family winery. So that's my dad. His father, Rich, purchasing the more than 63 acres back in 1995. And up until the early 2000s, fruit wine was the main staple here. But a banner year for apples in 2003 led to a surplus of leftovers, which then led to the birth of a new distillery and a successful spirits business that continues today. So anything that's not picked by the pick your own crowds will come out, strip all the trees, process the apples right here on site, ferment here on site, distill here on site, package here on site. The morning we visited, the final run of their apple based vodka was being distilled. I call this our onion head. So this is kind of the start of the vaporization process. Inside this 250 gallon Vendome copper pot still and through a series of distillation steps, the processed and fermented apples are transformed into alcohol. So the vapor runs into the tray, gets vaporized, condensates, drips down. Again, vaporizes, condensates, drip down. The finished apple based vodka quite different than the traditional vodkas that are made with grain or potato. I would say it's fairly rare. It's definitely something that here in the state of Massachusetts, we're one of the few places, if not the only places that does it here. And the other cool part about it is all the apples that are going into these products are Massachusetts grown or grown right here on site. But it's just not the vodka. Oh yeah. Neshoba has branched out to offer what has become a very popular line of locally sourced spirits. So our Northern Comfort is our most popular product. Our vodka and gin are going to be two and three, and then our bourbon is actually taken over as four. On the weekends, Neshoba does offer public tours of the winery, and this summer, for the very first time, they hope to welcome visitors to their distillery for tours and tastings. I'm Doug Meehan, WCVB.